So suppose we want to approximate the area under the function f of x equals 1 over 4 plus x from x equals 1 to x equals 6 using sub 10 subdivisions, the right endpoint approximation. So certainly, uh, first thing we would want to find out is that uh, the width of each interval, so the delta x will be a half here. And then one option is to actually do this manually, to say, Okay, the first subdivision will be at uh, 1 plus a delta x because we're doing a right endpoint approximation. So my first x value is 3 halves, my next one's 2, then 2 and a half, then 3, 3 and a half, 4. And go ahead and plug in that f x value, each of those x values into the function, pull out our calculator, type all this in, and come up with an approximation. That's really tedious, obviously, so let's see if we can figure out some other ways to do it. So one way to do it is to pull out some technology like Excel, where we can type in each of our x values, and then we can say, okay, let's evaluate our function. So 1 over the quantity 4 plus reference that previous value. There's my function value. I can pull that down, and then I can multiply my delta x of a half times my function values pull those down, and then say, let's add those up. So if you know how to use Excel, that would be one way to do it. If you don't, that's okay. We have other technology. So the other technique is to go ahead and set up the summation. So again, delta x is a half, and then we can set up the summation and say our jth x value will be our starting a plus j times delta x. So here, starting at 1, add j steps of a half, j delta x's, and then come down to our right endpoint approximation formula. We know delta x is a half. We know that uh, my x sub j, that should be a j there, my x sub j is uh, 1 plus 1 half j, and then we plug this into the function here to get this, uh, to get this expression, which we can simplify to here. Now we can pull out technology to help us. So one option here is to pull out, if you have a TID-9, a TID-9, uh, so we need 1 half times the summation. And so for summation, it's in the F3 calc menu here, uh, sum, summation of 1 over the quantity 5 plus 1 half. Now we don't have to use j here, you can use any letter you want, but by hitting the alpha key and then the multiplication symbol, we can get a j if you like a j. So we put the thing that we want to sum, and then a comma, the variable, so j again, comma, starting value, so my summation starts at 1, comma, ending value, so my summation, oops, ends at 10, right? So this is saying add up this function for j values starting at 1 going to 10, hit enter, and ooh, crazy fraction. If we don't want crazy fraction, we can hit green diamond, then enter, and it'll give us that um, same summation there, okay? And so that would be using a TID-9. The TID-3 has a similar command, uh, but it's a little bit different. Uh, it's the sum of a sequence, same idea though. Uh, let me show you another way though, if you don't have a calculator handy, and that would be to turn to some computer technology, uh, one of which is nicely online called Wolfram Alpha. And so here we could say 1 half times the sum uh, of 1, let's see, 1 over 5 plus 1 half times j for j equals 1 to 10. One of the nice things about this is it does a pretty good job of figuring out what the heck we're talking about. Let's see how that works. And it looks like it interpreted what we typed in correctly. Uh, you can see there. And there's the calculation, gives us the value. Okay, so there's another version of technology to help you out with this.